news censorship proof. That is the topic for today. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a medium-sized technology company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I've been a research engineer, telecommunications, and a financial analyst and journalist. I have a simple demonstration for you. Unfortunately, by sharing it, I'm going to also expose the only way you can still get news out of Google. So there's two ways to get news out of Google. Uh, one way is to go to Google News. Let's see if this works. I'm going to tie in, type in what I consider the greatest journalist in the world living today. And uh, sadly, you'll see that there are only four entries for Seymour Hirsch in the news. And in addition to that, none of them are actually articles that he wrote unless this one is here in German. So none of his articles show up. <clears throat> okay. Um, so now there's a second way to do this. It will demonstrate the old system, which is that if you go into Google um, as a web search engine, you can now see, uh, let's take a look, uh, Seymour Hirsch. And then switch the context to news. Um, so you see the old Google News produces over a thousand links to Seymour Hirsch. Whereas the new Google News produces no links to his articles of any kind. Which is fairly uh, chilling. So in addition, let's give uh, an example of uh, typing in something like um, the Las Vegas shooting, Stephen Paddock. And here we'll put in the news search, which is ex under extreme tight pressure and control, it appears, by some party. Um, and uh, so in order to get more information, we have to go to view full coverage, presumably, but that maybe is just dealing with his brain. Uh, but if we look at this coverage, no, it isn't just dealing with the brain probe. But it seems highly related. So what's the uh, search topic? The search topic is this unrecognizable string. Now, we do the same. Th uh, so the problem here, uh, we don't even know what we're actually searching for. So now we're going to sort by date. Because it took the name Stephen Haddock, Paddock and then had us view full coverage on an article string related to checking his brain. So we don't know whether we're checking his brain or checking Paddock himself. We can see there is related over here. All we know is a secret string that only Google can decipher for us. So then we can go do the sort by date. And this is what we see when we sort by date. Now, uh, if we use the old method, me uh, method and we type in Stephen Paddock. Uh, let's make sure we're in the news in the in the Google full Google search. <clears throat> now in the old uh, uh, system, now we can switch over to the news context. You see, now we're allowed to sort by date, we, and we know what we're searching on. We're searching on Stephen Paddock. It's right here. Query is Stephen Paddock. So this should give me a, uh, you know, maybe you think this is a cause of minor concern, but the demonstration I just gave you was triggered by my creating a list of the greatest journalists in the United States. And the discovery that the number one journalist is completely off of uh, Google uh, News, uh, which I consider uh, uh, something that I hope Google will fix. My name is Alexander Hagen. Good afternoon and good luck.